everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right. We are back right here with this edition of Five Questions with WR. And uh, these are your guys' questions and we are going to answer them. Five. You little kick buddy. Five. I'm doing book of teeth. <laughs> the better one, huh? Uh, guys, in 2001, he had Vaseline all over his hands. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoy the five question series, let us know because uh, we we, yeah. we really enjoy answering your guys' balls, questions. Don't you? Don't you guys? Oh yeah, yeah, I enjoy the five questions, baby. Don't you pop? Sure do. So uh, we 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 got some questions here that we're going to be answering for you guys right here, right now. And you guys can ask us questions anytime you guys want to through our Facebook, facebookcom slash page Dos. That's two. Uh, yeah, two. Uh, two. And, uh, on Twitter at Wrestle Rampage, you can do that through um, uh, through uh, private messaging or on our walls or whatever. It does not matter. And also the easiest one is down in the comments below. Yeah. So make sure you guys ask us some questions there. Uh, and let's go and get started. You guys ready? I'm yep, ready. I'm ready. First question is asked by Evil Nerd. Evil Nerd. And his question is: Are you guys are you guys a fan? Of the headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. Evil nerd. Evil nerd. I wonder if he got that from Kai and Ty. He got the evil part. He says, fuck it. I'm going to be nerd too. I, I like evil nerd. He's a good guy. Uh, Indeed. Uh, that's right. Was I a big fan of the headbangers? Absolutely not. I wasn't a big fan of Mosh and Thrasher. I thought they were the shittiest tag team champions. One of the shittiest. Never was a fan of the headbangers. Didn't like them. And fuck their silicone titties when they wore them in 2000. Remember that? Oh, God. Remember that? WrestleMania 16. Yeah. The cones. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck about that either. Yeah. Fuck metal and jack headbangers. Pops, did you like the headbangers? Were you fans of them? Uh, no, I, I wasn't. I, I watched them wrestling and shit like that right there. But, no titties. But, 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 but I really did, I, I really did think the that they were... I really don't even think they think they were all that good. Mm -hmm. So you know, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, you know, how they how, how they even become champions is beyond me. Uh, same. Uh, I'm I'm I, I don't like the headbangers. I, I always thought they kind of sucked. Yeah, uh, I thought they were the shittiest team in the Attitude Era. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I I didn't like Thrasher at all. I didn't like Mosh at all either. I I, I didn't even you like. Him. What I, I liked it. I liked him better with D'Lo. I didn't like him as Beaver Cleavage. I didn't like him as goddamn fucking uh, Chaz coming out in the goddamn Joe Boxer fucking boxers. Uh, I liked him better when he was teaming with D'Lo. I didn't even like that. Well, that's because D'Lo had to get him over. Uh, I, you know you know who was the best? Well, did you like him wearing the fucking Aladdin pants? No, that was the shittiest <laughs> part of That's the shittiest part of Lodam. The only one I enjoyed out of the team was D'Lo. Yeah. I love um, D'Lo, bro. When it comes to the headbangers, didn't care about them. I, nope. I always thought they kind of sucked. I did too. Uh, and 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 once again, you know, you with the fucking cone titties. That's true. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, uh, fuck the headbangers. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, it was it was kind of cool seeing them come back on SmackDown not too long ago. They I got mean, a good pop. They got a good pop. It was kind of cool to see them, but I still didn't give a shit. Yeah, I still didn't give a shit. I want a big fan. I mean, of the I, I, I mean, it was it was it was something that that. Jump out, out of my seat, you know. No, you just look. You're like, oh, that, uh, that, you know, that's hey, cool. And hey, then you're like, okay. And then you're and like, they lost. Yeah, yeah, they lost as yeah. usual. Hey, they, they come out. <laughs> well, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> next question asked by Radical Velocity, and actually, Radical Velocity asks the next three questions. Okay. His first question is: Are you guys going to get the new Mortal Kombat game, which I believe is called Mortal Kombat 11, if I'm not mistaken? Uh. Radical Velocity? No. No. Why not? Don't want it. Tommy's not the biggest fan of Mortal Kombat. I'm not I'm not a fan of Mortal Kombat. I'm more a fan of Tekken than Mortal Kombat. Pops, are you uh, uh are, well uh you're not gonna get the game? Nope. Uh, Pops, you gonna get the come game? Come on, I ain't, I got I got enough space on my goddamn PS4 as it is. No, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not either. I, I I never was much for Mortal Kombat. I I, I wasn't even much much for Tekken. 
Uh, Pops, really don't, Pops is actually not the biggest fan of fighting games at all. No, really. yeah. no I, I, Ex except for some of the wrestling. Yeah, games. except for wrestling games. I, I I do like war games and stuff like that right there. Uh, that, that's that's most usually what I do. You know, I'm not into anything else. Uh, I'm the one that likes Mortal Kombat. Um, I do like Mortal Kombat. Am I gonna get Mortal Kombat 11? No. Just because it'll be sixty bucks. Yeah, a, a it's gonna be sixty bucks. Uh, and and, and B, see, and see, we like to get them cheap deals. That's why we got WWE nineteen for thirty bucks. Yeah. Oh, if I would have known less, I would have got it for twenty five. Yeah, uh, actually, we went to GameStop recently, and uh, they had them for twenty five. Yeah. And Madden Madden nineteen was still fucking forty. Uh, and thank goodness pops pay when we pay thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I, I like Mortal Kombat. I'm not going to get Mortal Kombat 11 just because, uh, I, like, 10, 10 was all right. Uh, like, I, I, I actually have 10. Yeah. And 10, 10 And don't forget, you, you got a uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon for 99 cents. Yeah, uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon and Mortal Kombat Deception for 99 cents. I found them at a, at a pawn shop for 99 cents. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, I know TNQ part will like them deals. And uh, I like Mortal Kombat. I just don't play it all that often because, uh, for for some odd reason, I didn't really like Ten all that much. Ten wasn't really that that uh, that a great of a, of a Mortal Kombat game, in my opinion. Uh, and not only that, but uh, you have Paint Pill and Ronda Rousey as goddamn Sonya Blade on the motherfucker. Yeah, that makes you not want it. So that so that also drop drops down the fucking thing for me. So I'm yeah. like, well, I'll more Are Kombat you gonna? Now. I remember. Uh... People ask me, you going to get the uh, pack with Ray Mysterio and Ronda Rousey? No. <laughs> uh -uh. Is it free? It better be free if I get the season pass. If it ain't, I ain't buying it. And uh, another, the next question also comes with Mortal Kombat as well. Yeah. But, uh, do you have a favorite character, Mortal Kombat character? I don't have a favorite Mortal Kombat character, but I got a favorite Tekken character. Who's that? Martial Law. All right. All right. Pops, uh... uh no, I, I, as a matter of fact, I, I, I just wasn't interested in it. Yeah. You know, I mean... I'm, I'm, I mean, you guys probably heard some of the some of the characters yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm just not a Mortal Kombat fan. Yeah. I am, uh, I like, uh, I like Raiden, uh, I like Liu Kang, uh, Sub-Zero, pretty good. Scorpion, eh, I'm not the biggest fan of Scorpion. The, the only good thing is... Israel. No, I knew Pops' favorite Mortal Kombat. Who's that? Smoke. <laughs> Remember Smoke? The smoke. I wish I had a smoke right now. <laughs> That's Pops' favorite Mortal Kombat character. Smoke. The smoke. But, uh, I can't smoke no more, so. Yeah. Uh, well, I know, but that's your favorite Mortal Kombat character. Yeah, well, I was smoking. I liked smoking. One of the, one, uh, uh, one of the good things about, about, uh, Scorpion was when he grabbed the guy. He goes, "Get over here!" <laughs> but uh, I, I liked it. They didn't really like it. But like me, uh, I was a Tekken fan. Yeah, I, I like Tekken too. So uh, I, I'm really big into fighting games. Uh, so you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, next question and last question asked by Radical Velocity: Are you guys fans of '80s rock music? And if so. What are your uh, What are some of your favorite bands? Uh, Radical Velocity, yeah, I'm a fan of the uh, '80s rock bands. I like Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Big fan of Guns N' Roses. The only song I The only song that I don't like of them is the one that they're most popular for. Yeah. And that's uh, Knock on Knocking on Heaven's Door. I yeah. don't I don't like that song. I really uh, don't. I'm a big fan of Guns N' Roses. I like ACDC. Mm -hmm. I like ZZ Top. Long ass beards. That's right. Uh, <laughs> You're short now. Yeah, it's getting there. Uh, <laughs> You'll cut it off before then. I like Kiss. I do like Kiss a little bit. I like a few Kiss, songs. Yeah, yeah, Kiss is 80s, uh, late 70s. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, what else? Uh, that's about it for me. Right. Uh, I like a lot of 80s rock bands. Yeah. I like One Hit Wonders rock bands too. Yeah, we know you. Yeah. Like it's the final you. countdown. You like what you like you, you, you like handsome boo boo wah, doo wah. That's a good song. Too. <laughs> I know I know you like that song. Bye. Yeah. And I like rednecks too. Yeah. Cotton Eye Joe, baby. Cotton See, I like him one hit wonders, man. They they go on and fade away. Tommy Tommy's a big one hit wonder fan. These broken wings. And don't forget Phil Collins, I feel it coming in the air tonight. Good song too. 
Pops, are you fan? Are you a fan of '80s rock music? And if so, who's your, uh, some of your favorite bands? I like Aerosmith. Uh, I, 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 I had a bunch of them. Aerosmith is one of them, and, and uh, I, I also like. Uh, uh, what, what, what one did you mention? ACDC. Yeah, I, I, I like them. Kiss. Uh, Kiss. So uh, the reason why I like Kiss is, is because of this. That's why you got the pinball game. Yeah, and they. Yeah, recently in a yeah, well, well, not recently. You know, middle, yeah. middle, they. Weeks. They were the only rock team, rock rock band that 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 played in Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna have to ask you a question, Pop. Did you like Kiss without the makeup? No, I, I think I, I think when they I, you know when they took I, off the makeup, it, they kinda... it, 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 it ruined their it, to me it it, 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 it ruined the mystery. Yeah. The, because when you when you see the, see the guys with their mask on, it was a mystery. Who, who's behind that record? And, and, and you know you, you you had the cat, you had the space guy, you you you, you had you had, you had, the, you had the, the, the the star child, and you also had the demon. You That's know. where they got it from WCW, baby. It, it's it, it's just you gotta talk about Del Toro yeah. Borg as the goddamn kiss demon yeah. from WCW. No, I, 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 <laughs> no, no. The hottest no. man in the world, <laughs> Kiss. Remember, uh, remember on Nitro, lowest no, rating. I, 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 I'm, I'm talking about the, the real Kiss guy, Gene Simmons, <laughs> the uh, real demon. Any any other '80s uh, rock music you like? Uh, I, I like uh, Hall and Oates. Leonard Skinner. Uh, Leonard Skinner back in the set. We'll see. You like Leonard but, Skinner? But I do like Leonard Skinner. Oh man, I love Leonard Skinner. That's southern. That southern music, man, just sets me up. It, you, it like, just, uh, you like you, you like you like Turner Overdrive. Bachman Do Bachman Turner Overdrive, taking care of business, Lord, and they took care of business. You like the Outlaws? Yep. Well, uh, you see, uh, when you're talking about '80s rock music, you're you're, you're all of those. You're uh, talking popses right all here. All of those guys, and and I tell you what, I'm going to say it right here on YouTube. It's about time Leonard Skinner did go into the rock and roll hall of fame, baby. He did go in there, but I'm just telling the people that I'm glad he is in there. Yeah. Um, I I liked a lot of rock rock music in the '80s. Uh, same bands that you guys pretty much said as well. Um, oh, let's not forget about Boston. Boston. Boston, baby. Uh, and, I, I, you know, uh, I, I listen to a lot of 80s music on my uh, on my phone. Uh, like when I'm at work, I listen to Pandora a lot because when you're stuck at shelves at Kroger, there ain't much you can really do besides listen to music. Uh, I'm being or, or listen to wrestling podcasts. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, uh, no, I swear to God, that's all I do when I go to work is <laughs> for me to spend the eight hours that I'm at work. All I ever do is listen to music or listen to wrestling podcasts, and I'm not joking. I do. Uh, you you can look up my phone. It says <laughs> like on the uh, uh, one of my favorite podcasts is the Jim Cornette podcast. Every episode, watch. I mean, sorry, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> all over are knocked down. Listen, 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 listen. Um, you so, know, who would not listen to Jim Cornette though? Crazy. Yep. Uh, definitely a big fan of that. Not only that, but I, I like '90s rock music as well. Oh yeah. I, I like yeah. early 2000s rock music as well. I like Nirvana. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I mean, uh, uh, when I listen to music, for me, it's mostly rock. Yeah. Uh, country, I don't really get into. No, I'm not a big fan of country. Uh, rap, somewhat. Well, see, I'm not a big fan of this new rap shit. Yeah, I like the '90s and 2000s, even the '80s rap. You uh, know, I'm not a big fan of uh, well, you know, this era rap. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like it's like rap to me. You know, I always like I always like the real love songs. Mm -hmm. Now, now that this rap shit, they're talking about killing somebody and shit like that right there. Shaking their nuts. I've been doing that right there for years. Never made me no money. <laughs> Pops has been shaking his nuts for years. Goddamn right, baby. He's the one who started the nuts. <laughs> they probably started... worked for me, but, and now they're making money off of it. Where's my fucking cut? <laughs> Pops, you should have trademarked the shit. <laughs> I know it. Goddamn. All right, and last question for this edition I'm of Five ready. Questions. Here we go. Asked by Frank and Dinkus, 327. Do you think T and uh sorry? Do you think going to T and A after an amazing and an emotional match with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 24, uh, pretty much messed up Flair Ric Flair's legacy? Uh, Frank Adikas, that great fucking speech, leave the memories alone. Here comes all the fucking wrestlers hugging Flair, fucking giving him a Rolex, Shawn, Shawn crying in his HBK cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. Fucking the great emotional speech! All the all the people playing homage to the to great the the living legend, the Babe Ruth of wrestling, in my opinion. Not, not Hulk, only that, not Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. But not only that, fucking 
Undertaker coming out, taking, taking a bow, and Ric Flair crying. Here comes Vince with your big ass hug, <laughs> pulling that fucking arm up. He's all fucking him. Leave the baby for me alone. Ric Flair's kids and ex-wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, ex-wife. I love Ric, though. Yeah. Uh, and when he went to TNA, when he went to TNA, the Hogan year. It was the Hogan year. Well, well, see, this is the thing. Is I didn't care too much for him well, when he was what, in the manager role. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't care that Flair came in because I, I would have brought Ric Flair in. No no doubt. I thought TNA is a big coup getting Ric Flair. It was a good thing. I thought it was cool that he was, managing, AJ Styles. that he was managing AJ Styles, managing fucking Kazarian and all the people in Fortune. I had no problem with that. Like, but when he put on the tights. But when he put on the tights... And wrestling guys like Jay Lethal. Doing blade jobs. Doing blade jobs at fucking age 60. In his fucking skibbies. At age 60. Yeah. Fucking, fucking having a shitty match with Hogan. Uh, fucking, fucking shit like that. I was like, this tarnished Ric Flair legacy to me. Yeah. I had no problem with him doing manager role. Hmm. Him managing guys like AJ Styles and people in Fortune. I had no problem with that. Because that was a good role for him. He wasn't wrestling. I have no problem with that. He could cut promos. And be alongside. Do do what he did for Triple H, basically. Mm -hmm. With Fortune. I had no problem with that. But when he got in the ring and started wrestling, I didn't like that. That tarnished his legacy a little bit to me. Wrestling in TNA kind of diminished Flair's legacy, in my opinion. Pops, uh, thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, uh, I, he did, did tarnish. You know, uh, you know, even you know when when he you know when when he retired, the Undertaker you know come out here and it was the most you know the Undertaker hardly hardly ever breaks, you know. Uh, uh, He's only came out a few times yeah. just to break anything. Yeah. And that, and one was with it, Flair, yeah. and the other one was when they inducted Paul Bear in the Hall. Exactly. Of he, he he's the kind of Undertaker the kind of guy that hardly breaks character. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, for that right there to be me, you know, I'm not saying bad about Ric Flair, but for that right there to be me. You know, even if I was going to, you know, TNA, I wouldn't have went in as a wrestler because, hey, I'm retired. Mm -hmm. But I will be a consultant to somebody else. I, 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 will, I will tell them what I think, and, and I will be manage a manager. them. Yeah, I will manage them, and I, I will use my head to, 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 bring, to, to bring, you know, what, what, what they need inside that ring. Mm -hmm. But as far as me getting in there, if I'd been him, I'd have stayed right out of the ring. I would, I would have never went back in the ring. Um, I don't think it like tarnished Flair's legacy, but it was a it big just disappointment. Hurt it. Like, like it was a big disappointment for yeah, me. Yeah, and at his age, you know, like I mean, you know, he is doing you know questionable stuff nowadays yeah. too. You know, being in rap videos and yeah. Well, I have no and, problem with that. He's making money, <laughs> and uh, and I love the song. And, and he's doing fucking uh, breakfast commercials. Uh, yeah. You know that? I have no problem with that. He, he he's doing stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta keep your name out there. Not only that, but I mean, everybody he's a legend. knows. Yeah, uh, 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 everybody knows the 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 sixteen time world heavyweight yeah. champion. The two most popular well. wrestlers that people know: Hogan and Flair. Yeah. You know, it, you know, it's it, it, it's like you know. I wouldn't say it tore his legacy, but, but it, it just was, hurt it a little bit. But yeah. there, there comes a time when you know it's time to hang it up, but you don't have to walk away from it. You you can use your your brain, what you know about the wrestling. Rick Flair knows a lot. We all know that. To go and and, and, and probably mentor somebody to make to maybe one day be almost like a Ric Flair. Yeah. You all remember when they fucking made AJ Styles look like Ric Flair? Yeah. Coming out with the robes. And yeah, everything. and fucking have blonde highlights. Yeah. And fucking even AJ Styles said, "I don't want to be Ric Flair. I want to be a guy managed by Ric Flair." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, that's TNA for you. Uh, well, yeah, TNA fucks yeah. up everything. Don't worry, <laughs> yeah. there's a shitter. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, you know, some, some, you know, sooner or later that that, that boat, book house shows. that boat has got to go. And it did. Yeah. Uh, hey, that's it for this edition that's of it. Five Questions. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Share it over social media. Like us on Facebook or the thumbs down, right? Yeah, yeah good ass asshole asshole. about it. Share hey, it over we got social a lot media. Of like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more 
Great videos coming to you daily right here from one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take a look. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess your punk ass just don't know wrestling.